but 14 off the bench tonight um, looked pretty good uh, showing off his offensive game. What did you see for him tonight? Uh, just getting his feet up under him. Um, he efficient player, man. He six for eight. We over there on the bench saying like, man, he just finds his way to the basketball, to the rim a lot, cuts. Um, he just felt like he in the right position on the offensive side of the ball. And then defensively, he good at getting into the ball, creating turnovers. So, yeah, I mean, look good tonight. Uh, it's going to get even better as he gets more comfortable and gets his legs up under him. And it's a process. But, I mean, go six for eight, 14 off the bench. And feel like he ain't sweat at all. I mean, that shows how talented he is. Uh, Kevin Jacques was talking about just, you know, obviously not every game is going to be pretty, but making winning plays. Uh, were there any plays down the stretch that stood out to you that maybe weren't baskets but swung the game in your favor? Yeah, we seen uh, Royce get like three or four offensive rebounds there in that fourth quarter that were just huge. Kyrie had two that were huge. Um, how many we end up with? Nine, like we don't do that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, don't, you rarely see us do stuff like that because we're so small. But they went in there and put their nose in there and got some rebounds for us and create some extra possessions for us, which was key. And uh, it's the reason why we got those threes late. I, I was going to say Kyrie had 11 rebounds. Just when's the last time you seen him do something like that? Five offensive, you know. So, um, you know, we're going to need everybody helping rebound. Um, we need everybody to be in there boxing out. And this is going to be a group effort on the boards for us. So we was able to all rebound on about three, um, which is, you know, pretty good. And Capella only had three offensive rebounds, one under his average. So you can say we did our job in that area. I was going to ask that just so many times you come in here and you look at the stat sheet and you say, oh, well, we gave up 10 more shots because we got killed on the boards. I, just being able to even hold your own or even or close to even, how important is that going forward for the rest of the season to turn this from like a whatever, playoff team, contending team to a real championship contending team? Yeah, I mean, they still shot 10 more shots than us, but I think that's more so because of the turnovers. Um, but if we keep, you know, if we get more possessions than our opponent, then we always put ourselves in good shape. We're an efficient team, so if we were able to get looks at the basket, um, we can knock them in. So 29 assists, I mean, that's starting to be who we are now. Like when we get mid-20s, uh, 30s in assists, that's just our game now. So I expect us to do that. So we continue to move the ball. We're going to find good shots. And I think we're always looking for the better shot. You know, we might have a good one, but we kick to a great one. So we got to keep doing that. Kevin, you guys have gotten a lot of guys back during this homestand. You know, Ben tonight. Nick should be quick. You get you tomorrow. Just with with you to coming back, as you guys have trended well shooting. Just what what does he add to this group now? Uh, just length, athleticism, IQ. Um, obviously, he's shooting the ball well, but um, that stands out because this is, everybody loves makes. Everybody loves to see the ball go through the rim. But when he's be able to switch guard guys with his length, rebound, cut to the rim, he does all the little things. Um, and then when he knock it down shots, that just turns into an incredible player. So uh, we looking forward to his energy. Uh, we know being out for a while in the league, you know, you miss one or two days, it's hard to get back in rhythm. So for him to miss a almost like a couple weeks, uh, I'm sure we all gonna be patient with him, but you know, he's excited to get back. Last one, Nick. Are you playing tomorrow? Um, as of right now, you gotta talk to uh, Jock about that. How? <laughs> How much are you in that conversation? How much is your voice in that conversation compared to Jacques' voice and the, and the, the training staff? Uh, I try. I try to. I just listen. I just tell whatever. I get. They got my best interest at heart, so I just listen to whatever they say and go with it.